who I am. I'm obviously an American. I live in Nevada. I, I own seven of the 18 legal brothels in America. And uh, we're, we, you know, America is pretty uh, uptight also, I might say, and very religious driven. And Nevada's got it right. But the Bunny Ranch that I own is a 58-year-old experience, uh, social, uh, social experience that has worked very, very well. So I own a lot of the brothels. I'm the cat house king, the brothel bear, whatever you want to call me now. <laughs> Within that, uh, for you wealthier kids here, uh, I'm sure you have HBO, and then watch my show on Cat House. It's called Cat House on HBO. Been on 12 seasons worldwide, and in fact, Liz Green, who's here from the BBC, uh, did a documentary on the Bunny Ranch. And, and, and uh, come on, bring it. Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not be like format. Uh, so I, I also have another show on Cinemax. Uh, called Working Girls in Bed, and it's the fantasies of working girls, prostitutes, what they would like in their, in their sex life. Like they would like to see a Cormac having sex with them on the hood of a car in the rain, and we would have them come do <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to share with you that I, I am pro this, of course it's our, of course it's our, of course it is, and we're going to win, and there's no question about it, right? <laughs> But I'm not a porn watcher. My experience of watching porn is I want to be with the girl that's in the porn when I'm watching it. So I, I do watch it a little bit, but it's always with the girl uh, that's in, involved with the porn. <laughs> Our TV show, Cat House, okay, and, and on Cinemax, Working Girls in Bed, uh, are both, this, we shoot them hard, or hardcore, but we shoot them, we only show the soft angles, which is what I like. I like pr pretty girl porn. I don't like hardcore porn. I don't want to ever see a man's penis, anybody's penis. I'm just not into that, and that's what I like. Cormac, you may like my best friend, Ron Jeremy, <laughs> having sex in a circus tent with all the clowns, being filleted on the high wire, and having an orgasm and shooting a clown out of a cannon. That might, be, that might be your thing, but it's not mine. But is it art? Yeah, it's art, sir. There's not any question. If you don't think it's art, you try being a porn star. You try being in that hot room with those lights on and, and, and uh, girls that really don't want to be with you and, uh, and uh, for a small paycheck. It is art. There's not any question about it. This goes back, like what one of the gentlemen said, uh, to the caveman days. I mean, Mark's not, it's not going away. I, mean, I read something online today about the Germans finding some 72-year-old, 1,700-year-old piece of pornography, <coughs> part of sculpture. Well, is, is that those kinky Germans? Or, or <laughs> I mean, everybody's into it. Everybody likes sex. I mean, does there, everybody like sex here? Let me see if I show you. Come on, let's get them up. <laughs> okay. Guys, don't date the girls that had their hand down. <laughs> Tell you, you will not have fun. <laughs> Ireland has decided it's legal. Yeah, that's a good thing. <clears throat> Open minded. And America has also. America, the Miller decision <clears throat> that you discussed, uh, it is legal. It's, what's, uh, what's problematic in, uh, in America is distribution. You can make pornography, <coughs> uh, but moving it across state lines can end up in a, in a prison very, very easily. And so, but we, we found out our, our country uh, says it's, it's free speech. It's legal, it's free street speech, and, and it's got to be here whether you like it or not. And I think that's with a lot of things in this world, is that you may not agree with it, but it, it, it is art and it needs to stay here. Now, uh, prostitution is the same way. In, in Nevada, it, it's sex is free speech, right? We're, we all like sex, okay? And we all like money. You're here to get an education to make money. So you all like money, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, you, and you all agree you like sex. So if it's sex for money in prostitution or sex for money with a camera on you, it's legal. It's okay. It's art for it. And it, it, once again, it's not going to go away. It's not just not going to go away. Uh, my opponents here. Porn's an addiction, right? Sure it is. It's a kinky, dirty addiction. Well, guess what? Alcoholism, too. And Guinness isn't going away. We're not debating Guinness here. <laughs> okay, they've been around a long time. They're not going. They're not going anyway. And uh, other people would, would would say an unexpected reality. It's not real. 
Well, I'm here to tell you, if you thought that, we'd be putting Walt Disney in jail because Cinderella isn't real. There is no glass slipper. There's no fairy godmother that made her that hot thing that she is. And the prince is not looking everywhere for her because he's got all you hot girls to find. All the princes. He's got a choice. So when they, when they want to oppose, oppose the, the porn, it's like, come on, is, is this really? Let's, uh, I'd like to see it again, a real one. I know you were embarrassed here. When, when he put the pressure on you about watching porn. But let's get real. Who has watched porn, either softcore or hardcore porn? Let me see it. Oh, come on. People are lying. Let's take it another notch. Who has watched porn with their significant other, their girlfriend, wannabe girlfriend, a casual, casual sex? <laughs> And it's entertainment. You know, like I personally, if I'm going to watch porn, I want to be girl. Yeah. Excuse my ignorance. What is porn? <laughs> <laughs> And nobody had the answer. And the reality of it is, it's, 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 it's in the eyes of the beholder. People would take a look at two sex acts being pornography. If it's done in an erotic way, if it's an erotic art, uh, then it's a lot art. Like, like I, I've always said, that what's the difference between hardcore pornography and sexual erotic art? It's the lighting. It's the makeup. <laughs> it's nothing more. That's it. It's that simple. So some people look at certain things, like tonight, Vagina Man here. He's got a wall. <laughs> now, he may be the only person in the world that has a wall of vaginas. 36 feet. How many, how many meters? Uh, it's, uh, a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> 400 vaginas. The only one that's got more vaginas is me because I have 600 girls working for me. <laughs> now, so, uh, vagina Man. I asked him. <laughs> I asked him at dinner. I said, "Well, do you do, do men? Do you do, do men?" Oh no, that's not my. That's not my. my you know, I, like, I like girls. So, in, in one person's mind, it, including mine, vaginas that he makes is wonderful. Vagina art, a, a, a vagina art full of cocks. That's pornography to me. I wouldn't want to see that at all. Is the statue of David porn? In somebody's mind. <laughs> some, some, some very religious person would, would definitely have that. Like, but anyway, I, I don't want I don't want to see a penis. And to me, that's that's hardcore. I don't want to see it. Regulation. Now, within porn, we need regulation. Same way with prostitution. The girls here, like Cressa Kisses, is here. She was the bunny of the year last year. <laughs> something sexual with all you girls in this room. All of you. And we'll be starting tonight. That's, that's erotic art to me. That's not pornography. That is erotic art for sure. Uh, what, what, we have to have regulations. There's no question about it. And, and the opposing group here, who is definitely going to lose tonight, is they would like to say that, oh, kid. well, guess what? Kitty porn is disgusting. And, and you can castrate anybody that does kitty porn or, or, or has it. I don't care. And it's awful. But don't paint that same brush it's the same way with prostitutes. You know, I, I get it all the time. They want to paint me with the same brush as the, the sex traffickers from Moldavia. Don't do that. I have a legal licensed business to do what I do. And so there's good and bad for everything. And, no questions. Come on. Uh, and and, uh, and uh, I got a lot to go. It is protected expression, and I want it to stay that way. Uh, the, the regulation is the key to success, uh, and we, we just have to have it. Profiting from art or pornography is not a problem. An art museum, a piece of art, you, you go pay for it. Why shouldn't you pay for, uh, for, for viewing it? Why shouldn't you pay for uh, going and looking at your pornography or going to the Bunny Ranch and spending, spending some time with uh, Cressa here? Uh, whether you like it or not, Picasso, Ron Jeremy, myself, is an expression of art. 
It is protected by our rights of free speech, and it needs to stay that way. So, so don't let don't let your religious beliefs sway you the other direction when you vote. What order? Yes. Where would we be without some free speech? Sorry? We have to have free speech. Sure, order. 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 So, uh, what kills more? Porn, prostitution, or religion? Don't let your religious beliefs, your old, your mom's old religious beliefs, tell you that porn is an art, because it, it is art. And I'd like to leave this with one last thing. Relax, it's just sex. <laughs> <laughs>